So now you have a first version of your app. However, since you don't have a backend, you'll notice that when you add data and then refresh the page, the data disappears. This is something that can be solved with Superbase. So this is how you use Superbase together with your Lovable project. You will need to create a Superbase project first. In this case, I'm calling it feedback-io. Once you've created the project, you can go to the table overview and you can actually create your first table. In this case, I'm calling it feedback. And I'm gonna add a property called content of type text. Once you hit on save, then you'll see that a table appears and you can populate data directly in the Superbase interface. I'm gonna delete this table and show you that there's a different way to create tables, which is directly using the SQL editor. Simply write the SQL command and hit and run. However, as you will see, GPT Engineer creates these tables automatically for me, so I'll also delete this table. Next up, I'll show you the authentication tab, which is where you can manage your users. In this case, I'm gonna create a user with my email and a password. This will come in handy later. One of the cool things with Superbase is that they support a bunch of authentication providers in case you want to add login via Google, GitLab, etc. Superbase also supports storage of files and edge functions. More on that later. 